Hello everybody! Today I want to show you a tool I've built to help making maps in Inkscape. Say we have made a fantasy map and we want to see this map in a different projection. Of course, there are tools like G-Projector, but they require you to export your map as a raster image, which is a problem if you want to keep working with vectors. For this reason, I've created Ink Projector, which is a plugin for Inkscape to apply a map projection directly to your drawing. After the installation, you'll find an additional cartography menu under the extensions header. Here you can see all the map projections that are currently supported. To apply any of them, simply select the paths or groups you want to transform and then choose your projection. In my case, my entire map is contained in a group called Map. So I just select it. As a note, the tool assumes that the map you want to transform is an equirectangular map like this one. So, let's select a projection to use. I then see a dialog to configure my projection. For more details on what those options do, you can always see the README on the download page. Once I'm happy with the settings, I simply click Apply, or I can even use the live preview to see the result as I change the options. It might take some time depending on the complexity of your map. Once it's done, you can see that I now have an additional projection group containing the projection of my original map. As you can see, the inner workings remain the same for the projection. In my original map, I also had a hidden group with graticules. These two have been transformed, as have any other features. For example, I had a group for ocean currents. As you can see, all of it was transformed. As mentioned before, this is a full vector transformation meaning that the new projection can also be edited in Inkscape. The original map is left alone in this process, so you can create multiple projections from the same map. Here are some examples that I've generated earlier. So, should you want to give it a try, the download link for the extension is in the video description. It's completely open source, so if you want to see how I've built it, just have a look. There you can also find a guide on how to install it, as well as a detailed explanation on the individual options. I hope you give it a go, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.